So this video is going to show a future command that's going to be found in the sync pack. What it does is it creates some wall profiles for either top of footing or top of wall based on an existing ground profile, a design profile, or whatever two profiles that you may have to design with. So to run the command, it's going to be SP wall, and that's going to open up the wall profiles dialog box. On the left hand side, you select what your existing profiles are going to be. In this case, the EG surface one, and then my proposed profile, which happens to be layout one. Here I can do the station values from the beginning of the alignment to the end of the alignment, or I can just do a portion of it by typing in a station value. Here I can choose to create a top of wall profile. I can say I want it to be a minimum of one foot ab above the existing ground with a minimum step height of one foot. And then my step width increment is going to be eight feet. So when I do a step, it's going to be at least eight feet long. It can be 16 feet or longer, but it's going to be an increment of eight. Here I can give it a name. I'm going to call it top of wall, or I can have it follow the name of the alignment. And I can give it a description. Down here I can give it a particular style. And then I can repeat the process for the top of footing parameters. So this one's going to have a cover of two feet, a minimum step height of two feet, and then the step width of 24 feet. So once I hit OK, it's going to analyze both of those profiles. And so now I have a top of wall profile and then a top of footing wall profile. I can come in and I can modify these values. And so if I pick on one of the profiles, I can pick on one of these grips. And if I have profile or polar on, I can drag it and move it to another location. If I want to remove a step, I can just come in and pick that point. And then if I wanted to, I can delete these PVIs. Yeah, so now I've got a pretty good starting point on modifying where I want my top of footing elevations to be and where the steps are to be occurring. Doing this manually is quite painful and time consuming. And so this hopefully automates part of that process. And so now you can come in and modify the elevations of your steps to be what you want it to be, to meet your design criteria. And so this is a feature command in the sync pack called SPWall.